Did you guys know as a brother of a body in Christ, you know, like if you have the really, the body, you know, by our oh God, ain't there loyalty and uh, faithful in that too? So I mean, if you love Jesus Christ, and hey, look, you guys, oh, some people get mad and whoever this is, but the, it's the truth, like, you know, loyal is part of the, you know, and all that, the armor of God. And if you got that, right? And, you know, this is not a discredit, you know, or anything, but hey, since everyone wants to talk about some hard topic and some thing, some people will probably get sensitive with this. If you have that, right? Then you should be loyal to your marriages and stuff like that, or relationships, or the people you're with, instead of, you know, you know, instead of kick them to the curb now, don't you? Or lead them to drown, by the way. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't leave them to drown. Loyalty and faith, hey, that, that means for, hey, you have the whole hour, you'll be, hey, where's everybody at once again? Just me, Special Paul Wheeler thing, right? I'm just saying. Does everybody want to down me a little bit? Do you want to talk about, oh, uh, uh, some want to uh, water down stuff? Or well, let me give you something hard to taste. Okay. Let me give you something. Okay. You want something really, you know, how, hey, take that in. Uh, iron sharpens iron. You have doubt about that? Thank you. Because guess what? People say, oh, one love. Two as well, right? You gotta say one love. Hmm. Can't live in love and hate at the same time, right? But I go to the store today, you know. I know I said some things, you know, and say I don't give what people say about me. But in reality, though, you know, they look at me, they laugh at me, oh, because I'm swimming, because I'm walking. Or oh, you guys ride to the store. And yeah, I go to Publix. You know, hey, I walked. Wow, right? You know, do you guys, yeah, do you understand what I'm talking about? I want to show you so you don't think. Hey, and by the way, I had to hurt I have to hurry up eating because someone likes to um destroy my microwave and this is how they feel. So if anyone wants to I wanna tell you another thing too. We're gonna make this out, I'm gonna make this out okay. I walk to Publix. Okay? Or you call me fat or whatever, lazy, oh I need exercise. Well you guys you know could use, you know, hey. I mean I'm not lazy. Any of people call me lazy for a long, long time. It's water but hey look, I have to hurry up eating um stuff like this. But here's the thing. All my life, and it's kind of weird to me, you know what I'm saying? I got a ticker for you. You remember um, the medication you guys want me to take? But I've been, you know, compliant, right? Well, all my life, it seems like they want me to just be a pill popper. That's why I say this stuff. They want me to be a pill popper. They don't like me as a human being. They never really did. They always kept on trying me and thinking I was supposed to be like this. But you see, I overdosed one in time before. But this time, you know what? I mean, I said I want to... Uh, uh, overdose again, you know, say I want it, but you know, I'm, I've just been thinking. I gave him many y'all many reasons to love God, right? You know, and stuff like that, right? Now, I can also do this. I mean, you ever give me a Medicaid? Hey, I could say give you guys reasons why, you know, and guess what I could do maybe and blame you all right whoever wants you know because you wanted me to be on drugs huh made me dizzy or make this again or this nah right you care about me you love me right you loyal you you're faithful you care right it's love right but you know i could do that i mean decisions decisions but i mean or i don't have to but i'm just saying it could be that way but then again you know but you can't have that either or you know what i mean because you see it's like this it's like this you know what i mean you keep on nagging me and you bully me you force it right you want to force it down my throat but you don't like to force the gospel down your throat do you very hypocritical right and then god is the best doctor right and he said about the physician what did he say about the physicians and stuff we can get to that but you see but in reality of things you say you love you love me oh you love me you want to be a pill popper all my life oh yeah right oh yeah 
It makes you, you know, it, uh, yeah, but, what, has drugs. They, children, they're not there. Don't do drugs. But, and then you do that to someone else's child. You know, the child, and you've been doing this all these years, and you say you think you know, but you can't do what's best for you. You don't have problems. You know what I mean? Still. But like I'm saying, it's like, hey, since the subject, right? And what, and in the matter of this, and so, um, am I lying though? But I've been compliant though. I could do that, or since you want to take away my microwave and my speaker and stuff like that, let me go ahead and rush and get some eat before you know and rush my eating habits, right? So that way, oh, you won't take this. No, I just said that I have to have this so that way. Oh, before you try to take it, you know what I mean? But yeah, and you agree, but you won't come and tell to me why you did that though, huh? So therefore, you really love me, but you want, you know, but you do that though. You know, someone had to do that and hide. And say they did this and this and that. Who would do that? I don't go ahead and do that to y'all, but you made me like this. And I can blame say and blame y'all, whoever did it. Because I don't do it to you. No, no, no. Right? So, either way it goes. I can give you 13 reasons why. We could do that since I gave you a whole bunch of reasons. I could. Because you, you keep doing it to someone that has problems, right? And I keep telling you, leave me, you know, you keep on making 